Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'll discuss about the design of a beam in shear for a tapered beam basically. What actually a tapered beam is then? So you can see here a beam fixed at the one end okay and basically for a cantilever one. Here depth is decreasing from the support to the end of the beam or it may also be the opposite case that is the depth increasing the free end. Then generally for the normal beam that is the beam of uniform depth we calculate the shear stress as tau v is equal to v by vd but for the tapered section tau v is equal to vu that is the shear force plus minus mu that is the moment by d into tan beta divided by b into d so this is the section so our load p is acting at the free end at the distance l from the fixed end then this is the moment that will develop at the fixed end and that is mu similarly beta is the angle between top and bottom edge you can see here beta now let me discuss the design of a tapered cantilever beam we have a question i'll just make a figure from the question so this is a fixed end and the depth of beam increases of 300 mm to 450 mm towards the fixed end so that means the decrease at the free end so this depth will be 450 mm this will be 300 mm at the free end and here you can see the nominal shear stress for normal beam and this is for the cantilever or we can say tapered beam section and this is from class 40.1.1 here you can see in the code also in the case of the beam of varying depth you have this v is the shear force due to the design load and mu is the bending moment at the section beta is the angle now here this being beta okay we will find out it out through the right angle triangle and we can find this as 450 minus 300 okay the height there and the length of the beam is 2.5 meter then tan beta is equal to so perpendicular by base so 450 minus 300 divided by 2500 converting into mm so beta comes as 3.43 degree and load w is equal to 20 kilo newton meter is given for factored load okay 1.5 times the given load comes as 30 kN per meter similarly now we have formula and we have to find other terms like vu mu for the maximum shear force and bending moment for a section with support at both end shear force is equal to wl by 2 and similarly moment bending moment is wl square by 8 but for cantilever section it will be different wl only that is shear force similarly bending moment wl square by 2 only so you can just substitute the value and we get vmax as 75 kilo newton and similarly bending moment as 187.75 kilo newton now from class 40.1.1 that is simply the formula we have just discussed and we'll substitute the various terms we have found here so we have formula tau uh, v that is the nominal shear stress vu plus minus mu by d into tan beta divided by b into d okay now for d so what will be the value of d we will be considered we have 2d given so for d we will be taking 450 mm that is at the fixed end in case if we are asked to design reinforcement at x distance from the support then d is computed at the or at that section using linear interpolation got it if we are asked to find a design or we are asked to design a reinforcement at a particular distance we will use the depth at that particular distance but for now we are asked to design shear reinforcement for a cantilever beam without specifying the section so we will be taking the depth at the fixed end this is just a note this is not applicable in this numerical I will discuss the numerical at the later part 
Now tau v is equal to we have just calculated as v u as 75 plus minus. So as I said, condition for plus and minus in the introduction part you can check for the introduction part in the description section the negative sign in the formula applies when the bending moment m u increases numerically in the same direction as the effective depth d increases and the positive sign when the moment decreases numerically in this direction so in this case the depth is increasing towards the fixed end and the moment also increases towards the fixed end because moment is maximum at the fixed end so we'll consider a negative sign please make a correction over here okay it is 93.75 because w is 30 so 93.75 kilo newton meter is the maximum moment so just make it over here 93.75 divided by d that is 0 0.45 converting into meter 10 beta is 10.3.43 divided by b into d that is this comes as 0 0.55 5 newton per mm square for tau c that is the shear strength of concrete we have to find ast by bd that is the tensile steel reinforcement percentage so 4 into pi by 4 into 20 square now we get this value divided by 300 into sorry 230 into 250 into d that is 450 this comes as 1.11 percent 4 because number of bar are to be taken as 4 now from table number 19 design strength of concrete is to be calculated and for this we will be considering asd by bd percentage and tau c so for our value is 1.1 it lies between 1 and 1.25 and then corresponding shear strength of concrete is 0 0.62 and 0 0.67 then what will be for 1.1 so from linear interpolation we find this as 0 0.643 newton per mm square here tau c now we'll make a comparison between tau c and tau v that is nominal shear stress and shear strength of the concrete so we find that the shear strength of concrete is greater than that of the nominal shear stress so no shear reinforcement has to be provided in this beam that is the shear strength of the concrete is sufficient to withstand the shear stress acting on the section hence no reinforcement is necessary that is only nominal shear strength or nominal shear bar are provided that is the stirrups provide two legged 8 mm stirrups ASV that is the area of stirrups 2 into pi by 4 8 into 8 square 2 because 2 leg so 8 mm is the diameter of the bar so this comes as 100.533 mm square the spacing should be less than that of this value which should be less than that of the or equal to 0.87 FY ASV by 0.4 B this is also from the code 364.5 42 mm and 0.75 d this comes as 412.5 mm and finally 300 mm okay so the spacing should be less than that of this value provide two legged 8 mm stirrup at 300 mm center to center for the another question okay let's assume the question with 40 kN per meter load then what will be the difference here see V max will be 150 kilo newton and M max be 187.25 kilo newton meter using the same formula that is V max is equal to W L effective and M max is equal to W L effective square by 2 because for the cantilever as I have already said it will be W L and W L square by 2 for maximum shear force and maximum bending moment and for the value of tau V is equal to that is the shear stress nominal shear stress V U will be 150 plus minus mu that is 187.25 divided by d which will be the same that is 0.45 into 10 beta 10 in 3.63 degree divided by b into d which is 250 into 0.45 basically that 250 it is 0.25 and 0.45 we get this value as 
1.11 newton per mm square and t max that is maximum shear stress maximum shear strength of concrete for m20 grade of concrete is 2.8 newton per mm square tau c is less than tau v less or equal to tau max hence shear reinforcement is necessary because the shear strength of concrete is less than that of the shear stress acting on it and is less than the maximum shear stress that a m20 grade of concrete can withstand hence the section has not to be redesigned but a shear reinforcement has to be provided design shear force is equal to tau v minus tau c into b into d that is 52.53 uh, for this shear stress it is equal to shear force divided by the area and similarly for shear force it will be shear stress multiplied by the effective area tau v minus tau c because it is the stress beyond the shear strength of the concrete that has to be analyzed and designed so this comes as 52.53 kN and for this shear force shear reinforcement has to be provided and for which it will be Assuming 8 mm two legged stirrup, area of stirrup will be 100.53 as in the previous section, and as with 0.87 FY ASVD by V, and for vertical stirrup, okay, that is VS is the vertical stirrup, 0.87 into 415 into 100.5 to 450 divided by 52.53 into 10 to the power 3, converting into Newton. This comes as 310.89 mm, which is the spacing. Now, nominal shear reinforcement spacing. This should be less than that of the three values. We will provide two legged 8 mm stirrup at 300 mm center to center. Now, for the next type of question, that is the design of reinforcement at a particular section. Here we have at a 1 meter distance from the fixed end. Okay. So, section 1 meter from support. And for this also, beta will be same that is 3.43 degree. Now, V max at a distance. Now, let me draw a section like this. So, this is the UDL over the beam. And at a, this will be the distance 1.5 meter. That is the distance from the free end. And this is 1 meter. This will be 1.5 meter. Total 2.5 meter. V max at 1.5 meter from the right. That is from the free end. It will be W into L. We have already discussed in this in the applied mechanics so it is w into l 90 into 1.5 this comes as 135 kilonewton maximum bending moment at this section is equal to w into l into l by 2 this is also from the applied mechanics so this comes as w into 1.5 into 1.5 by 3 we are considering from the free end this comes as 101.25 kilonewton meter Previously, we calculated the design shear stress. I am now I am directly calculating the shear force. Now, the depth at that section is D dash. Suppose from similar triangle, at, we have to find the depth. Consider the take D as the depth of this section. 450 divided by 2.5 is equal to x by 1.5. This is from similar triangle principle. Okay, 450 being the width at the fixed end divided by 2.5 being the overall length of the span x being the depth at that section divided by 1.5 being the length of the section considered on solving we get the value as 90 mm which is the height of the triangular section only we have to consider height of the rectangular portion and the height of the rectangular portion is 300 so total depth will be 390 mm now substitute the value 135 we get this value as 119.439 kN. This is for shear force. The things are similar to that of the previous one. The difference is the value of depth that is 390 mm here, 53.372 kN. Assuming 8 mm two legged stirrup, then we can find the spacing. And as of the previous one, we can compare with the three values and find the suitable spacing and we'll provide two legged 8 mm stirrups at 290 mm spacing and this is the reinforcement section of that beam section make sure to provide a tapered beam section 